Hello and thanks for tuning into my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you the options that we've got at the installation. Um, let me just go back a bit. So when you start your box, I'm just installing it from an ISO image here. It comes to this page when you can have the software selection. Um, so, so when you go to the software selection, you can have the bare minimum. And the bare minimum, the reason for bare minimum is, uh, first of all, it takes it, it takes far less to install this because it doesn't have every package installed. And it also for hardening the systems, when you want to have as little packages as possible so that you don't give the possibility of vulnerabilities, the the possible holes that hackers, the black hat hackers, so-called black hat hackers can get into your system. Um, so for those who might not know, black hat, hat uh, hackers are those with the malice who are hacking. The white hat hackers are those people who hack to find the vulnerabilities and to report them. So for for those kind of uh, purposes you want to make it bare minimum and it also takes less time so you can have the add-ons in each section as well so minimum install nothing there once you install it basically even the network doesn't work um, so you have to configure network you can have infrastructure server so then you can add all these items Oh, you can have file and printer server, print server, basic web server, and then you can go to the virtualization host and or the server with GUI. But remember, when you have the minimal install, it will come up with just only a command line interface. So for those who are very used to having the GUI handy uh, that might take a while especially you have to if you want to install packages without the IP address or without access to the internet um, then that'll be a little bit of a pain but it's not very difficult it's easy you just do a couple of uh, IP commands or if up if down if up and DH client and this one, which is just installed, it actually, it's uh, who minus R shows it's run level three and it doesn't have the graphical interface. Now, if I wanna do any yum command here, it's not gonna work because the uh, interfaces, the network interfaces are not really up and working. Um, so if I do IP add, you can see that it's not really, it's up and working, but it's not really, um, it doesn't have any uh, IP address. So as a client, DHCP client hasn't been doing anything. So I just do a DHC client minus RV and see what happens. Um, no, um, so if down, if down ENS 33, oh sorry, IP, if down, if down and if up. So I'm just trying to make it uh, somehow restart so I can see an IP address in there and I can see an address. So let me see if I can Google uh, google.com so that means uh, we are on the internet so what we do we um, group list installed so yum command group list installed it shows what groups are installed and I'm expecting that the group which I'm 
which I, I'm interested in, not installed. So it might take a while, so I might shut the video here. Okay, and now it actually took an hour to finish, so let's go back to our virtual box and let's see how it's doing. So um, let me just uh, um, let me just show you what the what the command to get the default is. And also um, the yum command to make sure that we have successfully installed the, the group of packages yum group list installed. So, yep. And now, um, sorry about the noise. Now, let me just um, set default to graphical, graphical target, target. So now the same link is there. And if you do it, then it's there. So if I do a, an init six now, it should, come in graphical interface, graphical user interface. And it comes as a graphical user interface. I can go back by set default again. Um, so basically this is how you do it. Um, so if you are just using it for like a workstation maybe just uh, from the big beginning just install it with gui and everything but if you are using it for more secure purposes uh, bare minimum is the, is the way to go and just installing everything one by one that's a bit of hassle but it's worth it to secure your it's worth to secure your vbox thank you very much for watching